All right, so today we'll look at two things that business owners own personally when they should consider owning it corporately. So number one is your debt. If you have any personal debt, mortgages, credit cards, car loans, consider trying to move those into your corporation because then you're able to write off the interest. Now you may be asking, how do you write off the interest of a mortgage or personal mortgage? We can use a strategy that's called a debt swap. Here's an example of how it could work. You borrow money corporately, you pull it out of the corporation tax-free if you get the shareholder's loan, and then you pay off your personal debt. So what you're left with is the exact same amount of debt, but instead of having it personally, it's now in your corporation, which allows you to write off the interest. So on a half a million dollar loan, for example, at 4%, those savings can be about $20,000 over the next 10 years. If you don't have a shareholder's loan that allows you to withdraw money tax-free from your corporation, this strategy is still doable, but we'd have to run the numbers to make sure that it makes sense for your specific scenario. The second thing that I most often see business owners owning personally, when in fact it should be owned by their corporation, is their life insurance. When you own life insurance personally, you're using after-tax dollars to make the payments. Whereas if you own it inside your corporation, you'd be using before-tax dollars. So let's go through an example. Let's say your insurance costs you $3,000 per year on the personal side. For you to net $3,000, you're gonna to need to withdraw $4,285 from your corporation, assuming you're in an average rate of 30% when it comes to your taxes, to net you that $3,000. Whereas if the insurance is instead owned inside your corporation, then you only have to pay the $3,000 because you don't have to convert your corporate dollars into personal dollars to make the payment. Now you may be wondering, what if I pass away and my life insurance gets paid out to my corporation? Will my beneficiaries have to pay taxes when they withdraw money from the corporation? Well, not necessarily because when you pass away, uh, the death benefit creates a credit to your CDA, your capital dividend account. And from my previous videos, you would know that any balance in your CDA is an amount that you can withdraw tax-free from your corporation. Now, depending on the type of insurance policy you own, whether it's a term insurance or a permanent insurance, like a, like a whole life or universal life policy, the credit that goes to your CDA balance will differ. For most term policies, the death benefit is going to basically be able to come out of the corporation tax-free because the credit to the CDA will be very similar. Whereas if you own a permanent policy, um, your death benefit and the amount that gets credited to your CDA, uh, there might be a gap there in those first few years, but as you age, that gap will close and eventually the death benefit will uh, be able to come out of the CDA 100% tax-free. So to summarize this video today, two quick strategies. If you have any personal debt, consider using a debt swap to move that into your corporation. And if you have any life insurance, consider moving that that you own personally, consider moving that from your personal name to your corporate name because when it's all said and done, you're going to be able to withdraw that death benefit tax-free if you ever passed away through the CDA account. Hope you enjoyed, and as always, thanks for watching.